Hey everybody, this is Kathy. I am a pediatric occupational therapist. I do home health uh, therapy with the little kiddos and I am a big fan of simple living. Um, I'm a big DIYer. I love to make repurposed furniture or pieces of wood or make my own products. Um, I also um, am doing, <laughs> I've totally went blank if you guys know me, that's kind of, ah, there she goes again, off on her squirrel moment, but I really am. Um, I'm trying to do two things at one time. I'm multitasking, right? That's what we do as women, right? Ha, yeah. Okay, so, hey Kelly, I'm doing great. It's all rainy here, um, but it's good, you know. It could be a lot worse. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Thank you for asking. Hope you are well also. Kelly, where are you from? I can't remember. I know we've had these conversations back and forth. Um, so anyway, so I come on Facebook Live and I do these videos for you guys. And um, sometimes I share some good stuff, sometimes I don't. But this one is going to be some good stuff because I am doing some do-it-yourself deodorant. And it is the absolute best, best, best deodorant. I've ever used um, and because I like that simple living that natural living I try to you know do as chemical free lifestyle as I possibly can and so this is just one of the easy ways I can do it so um, but anyway back to the deodorant of oh, I know I do some random topics don't I? I apologize if if it you know kind of makes you roll your eyes but um, I was listening. I'm getting off subject again, but uh, Kelly's from Atlanta. Thank you for tuning in, Kelly. Um, have y'all got bad weather too, Kelly? Um, so anyway, I was watching um, one of my favorite um, lady tribe um, ladies who um, who does a lot of personal development, and I do a lot of her trainings um, here lately, and she was talking about you know, I used to be worried about what people would think, you know, my friends or friends of friends or whatever when I did this stuff. Um, but I do it because I enjoy it for one. I don't like enjoy, I don't really enjoy like talking in front of people and I don't think I know any more than anybody else, but I do like sharing. I just, I think I have a, like a teacher heart kind of thing. Yeah, Fallon, Zoe. Uh, Zoe. So yes, that's the one. So anyway, she was talking about, with all that being said, um, I still like to do it. I don't. I don't love to do it, but I still like to do it because um, it's a, it's a part of my nature to teach and to to be to do helpful things like help people. So this started off as a Facebook challenge. I did it for 31 days, and I just kept doing it because I had so many great results from you um, tuning in and things like that. So continue to share. Give me some hearts if you're watching live. Some thumbs up. Um, um, let me know where you're tuning in from. As always, I'm from South Carolina. If you don't know. Um, so anyway, back to Fallon, she was talking about, you may not be everybody's cup of tea and it's okay because I know this from experience. Somebody's going to talk about you, whether you are perfect or not like perfect to them. Like you could jump through hoops for them. You could be the sweetest pie as to them and all that kind of stuff. And they're still going to find something. If it, if it feels something in them, they're going to still talk about you. They're going to still whatever. So don't just do your passion good yep Kelly thank you right perfect timing Kelly says do your passion absolutely so um, so what Fallon was saying that I had never heard it put this way but I think it's hilarious um, she said you may not be everybody's cup of tea but be their shot of vodka and I was like oh my gosh I love that that is hilarious um, so that's kind of me I may not be your cup of tea but maybe I'll be your shot of vodka maybe for that moment, I have thrown you something that you could really jolt you into what you need to do or something like that. So anyway, um, back to the deodorant. I don't want to keep you guys because I know we all have things we have to do. But to the deodorant. Um, so what I have, I'm going to go ahead and turn it the, down, um, the camera down. And so I make my own little double boiler um, because I just, I don't need any more stuff in my cabinet so i just took what i already had which is this little metal pan i love metal pans and then i put water and i just bring it to a little bit of a simmer and then put that down in there and i have my double boiler so that way i don't like scorch anything so i usually like triple this recipe 
because of um, I like to make it all at one time like a you know about six containers that will last me for the year um, of deodorant but I my Amazon order I ran out of the containers and they got my order wrong they hardly ever get my order wrong but they're making it good so that's kind of cool but um, so I just ordered these in bulk from Amazon they're little you can get they're coming different sizes and um, some I don't love I ordered from a different company through Amazon this time because I didn't like the last ones um, I, for whatever reason I just didn't like them as good um, so let me turn this down so these are the leftovers so anyway I ordered a whole new batch of these sometimes I save them and I've reused these a couple of times like I said the last one because I did a DIY here and I gave them out you paid money you know and I we did DIYs all here together so I ran out so anyway all that to say um, they got my order wrong. I went through all that to tell you. So I ordered some of these and now they're, I had to order them again, but they made it good. But look what they sent me. Okay, I ordered these and they sent me this. What the heck? I mean, seriously, it is nothing to do with the other containers and the uh, gum. I use, and I do use this, but I have plenty. I don't use it very often. I make some toothpaste. Sometimes I'll make toothpaste with this, but anyway, go figure. But they're making it good. So in the meantime, I'm out of deodorant. I have one container left. And this recipe that I actually use, they it says it makes two containers full, so we'll see. Um, who knows? Okay, so um, I've already melted my beeswax and coconut oil. And if you don't know, I also there's a couple of things on Amazon that um, it's. It, they're companies, you know, and then you can ship through Amazon. And there's a couple of natural companies on there that I like, and this is one of them. And this is where I get my beeswax. So this is what beeswax looks like. I get the pellets because they're easy, um, but they're kind of a yellow in color. And so this is all natural beeswax. And so I, for this, like I said, these usually make like two is all. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring this in. I have... Um, this is my fourth of a cup of baking soda and fourth of a cup of cornstarch. So the cornstarch is going to help keep you dry. And the baking soda is going to help with odor. And then the coconut oil and the, the coconut oil is going to kind of give you a little some healthy benefits of it so that you're not putting uh, right there under your arms where you have all those wonderful glands. Um, you don't want to put chemicals on those glands like with most deodorant or two. And the other thing is you want to sweat. You want, that's how your body cools itself. That's how your body gets rid of some of the yuck, etc. So, you actually don't mind having, you know, you want to sweat some. So, this, this recipe, you will still sweat, no doubt. But I swear to you, you will not stink. Your armpit will not stink. So, um, so I'm just stirring it all up. I guess you can see it pretty much. It's kind of thick, but it's still, it's not like solid. And then the beeswax, it holds it all together. But the only thing you have to forewarn you about this is it will melt. If you keep it, like if you're traveling and it's out in your hot car or something like that, you're going to get a little runny. And the same thing with if you're keeping it in a really cool area, it gets really hard. Um, and so sometimes um, if you don't get that just right ratio of beeswax, um, it's going to be, it might be either or, so kind of play with it, but it's super cheap to do. You, you heard what I did. I did a fourth of a cup of cornstarch, a fourth of a cup of baking soda, three tablespoons of coconut oil, and one tablespoon of the beeswax. So this probably cost me like a dime. I mean, seriously. And then I also use two oils. You guys know I'm a big fan of the essential oil. So I use perf purification, which is um, a great uh, odor eliminator oil and then I use lavender because because lavender is very soothing for your skin and very good for your skin so but but don't put these in yet like I wait till I get um, I'm done melting all this together so I'm gonna take it off turn my burner off and all that and I'm gonna let that sit for a second and then I'll put these in like at the last minute right before I put it into my container um, and that's it and it's super quick you saw um, you saw how easy that was. I sat here and chatted with y'all. Uh, again, just put the beeswax in, beeswax in first so that it gets good and melted before you dump all your other stuff in there. And then let me bring it up just a hair. Have you guys been like getting out in this rainy weather? Those of you who are on the East Coast and surrounding areas, we're not on the East Coast, but we got lots of wind and rain. Um, all right, so let's see. 
you guys again share this give me some likes and loves if you're watching it live let me know where you're watching it from all that fun stuff oh here it is right here i was losing okay um you can also um follow me on the all the social media uh, instagram um youtube and it's um it's called sensibly essential actually it's not my name but it's sensibly essential and it's got all kinds of diys and things like that um and just good information health information things like that simple living that those kind of a things repurposing repurposing like i said okay so that's that i'm going to i'll probably put about five drops of each of these um and then that's it. I'm going to pour it up into this container and I'm done. And I'm good to go. And people are thankful. And I promise you, this is the absolute best deodorant. Like I said, it, you will sweat because you need to sweat. I don't want to stop those glands up because um, I want my body to cool itself. And I want my body to get rid of those toxins when it needs to. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but my hands are full, so I'm not going to move the camera again. But I'm just pouring it in, and it, there is like one little itty bit left, so um, because I'm thrifty, I'm not going to waste. I'm going to just pour it into here, and when I get my other containers and make a bigger batch, all I will do is um, I'll scoop this out and, and melt it back in with the rest of it. Um, so let me scrape this out. So, remember what we were just talking about, um, Kelly and I earlier, back and forth, we were talking about be somebody's um, shot of vodka instead of their cup of tea. Um, I learned that lesson, like I said, a long time ago. Don't worry about it quite as much. But um, anyway, it was funny because Fallon, um, Fallon put it that way, and it was so, I've never heard it put that way, so that was hilarious. Okay, so here, this is it. This is your finished product. Pro product. And I feel it all the way to the rim. Um, and like I said, sometimes this gets really, when it dries, um, I mean, um, hardens, it's super, super, like, hard. <laughs> so um, sometimes when you're trying to get it, you know, do that little screw thing in the bottom, your little twisty thing, it will, um, it, 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 sometimes it's hard, so to, hard to do. So it's literally sometimes I've gotten pliers and did it that way. Or I have... Um, um, I scrape it like I take the top here try not to spill it but I take like a, a fingernail file or something and I just scrape the sides of it and try to get it loose like a little bit um, but I use every drop trust me I use every single drop of this it is pure gold to me it is the best absolute best deodorant if you've if you've used do-it-yourself deodorant the DIY stuff let me know um, if you have a recipe let me know and um, that is pretty much it just wanted to bring you that just, and again, it was out of necessity that I brought it because I was totally out of deodorant. And so that was our subject today, armpits. So who knows? Um, I hope you guys are staying, uh, like I said, staying dry. Um, let me know you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, follow me, like I said, the Sensibly Essential um, on the social medias if you want any more fun ideas, tips, all that good stuff. Um, recommend get a giant thing of coconut oil if you start to DIY because you will go through it like nobody's business. Hey, Gary. Um, and so that's what I recommend, getting a giant one. I'll go through this like crazy because I do tons and tons of DIYs. So that's it. I think you guys are fantastic. Um, I will see you another day.